Hey folks again, welcome again to my second video on my channel. As I promised the last time that it's not the end of the story, um, I was going ahead, did some more tests for the spot welder and made some uh, final conclusions then later on uh, before I go ahead and, and build the real one. So what I, have I done so far? Um, as you have seen in my last video, the spot welding was working quite well, uh, except that we got an overheat of um, the transformers and all the components if we go with full power. So what I did right now, or what I try to do right now, is to limit the current and the voltage uh, by a special electronic device and let's see how much, uh, what I get at the end um, if I do not overheat uh, the transformers. So giving them the maximum power they can take and let's see if we still can weld. Okay, let's check it out. Let's see how it works. I have selected an uh, electronic control. Uh, in more detail it's a phase control unit. With this phase control unit I can limit the voltage and the current. Uh, so first I did mount it to the board. And uh, here comes the question, what is a phase control unit? Uh, this is an electronic control, uh, more or less is uh, controlling the switch on time of the phase. Here you can see it in the schematic. So it gives a delay um, to switch on the power and the current. Um, and in total this does limit then uh, the, the power outcome. So. The smaller the wave gets at the end, the less power you have, uh, and that's how it works. And now the phase control is getting connected to the primary circuit of the transformers. Now it's time to install the potentiometer which controls at the end uh, the power of the phase control unit. Okay, switch it on for the first time. So I switched it on and I initially adjusted the input power to 8 amps, which equals roughly 1800 watt uh, input power. You see it's adjusted to 8 amps. And what you can see also is if you switch it on, it's not going in, in, in one rush up, it stops at a lower level and then it comes up. That's to prevent the situation of the transformer. That's the output power or current uh, directly measured at the thick uh, wires. And I did it on a shortcut right now just to find out um, how much output we have. 
as we have 8 amps input and I ended up at 500 amperes which is quite nice for a shortcut. If it comes to welding then we have uh, some additional resistance in between the sheet metals and so for the first weld with the same setting I went down to 300 amps which is then nothing. So I made the first trial, it did not work at all you can see. Then I uh, put the uh, measurement device on, tried it again. I did find out that we only have the 300 amps. Um, I played around a little bit with the settings and get it up to 500 uh, with the sheet metals but you still can see it's not good enough. Hey folks, now we have carried out all the tests with two transformers so far. I did limit the current uh, with the uh, chemo box uh, to the amount the transformers can take. And we easily found out that that is not enough really to weld uh, to steel sheet metals with 0.8 each. So we would need some more power. Conclusion will be I'll build a stack of um, four of those transformers just to limit the, the, the current and the voltage to each coil to uh, value they can take. So as I said the last time I take it apart again and then sit down on my CAD system in front of the computer and I will design the final version. Yeah, hey if you like it just click the like button, if not, as I said, just forget it. And it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel as well. So, talk to you in a while. Have fun in the meanwhile. See you.